Hey, today we're going to rebuild this water pump right here that goes on my Cummins QSC 8.3 600 horsepower marine diesel. This pump is manufactured by Sherwood and the mechanical seal is bad on it, so it's leaking. Looking in here, you can also see quite a bit of left, leftover impeller from last year. They, uh, they, don't, they don't like it so much when you run them out of water. To get this gear off, you gotta take this this nut off on this particular pump it's an inch and three sixteenths which of course i don't have so i'm gonna use this baby i already loosened it up you get the picture 13 millimeter this one's not too worn a little marking on it i can barely feel it 10 millimeter. <clears throat> Quick shot of the inside of this poor bugger. Pretty uh pretty beat up that'll buff right out though you can see that in that backing plate is, is pretty worn out and we're gonna need a hex head such as this 5 30 seconds to get right in there and pull that out stamped writing on this gear was up against this bearing housing uh, on the tapered shaft. Okay, I'm not real sure if this is exactly how this goes or not, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it anyway. Just ripped the the uh, guts out of that um, mechanical seal. Oh. But uh, came apart. Yeah. There's, so maybe I should have gone in there with a, a, a set of snap ring pliers and. Oh my God! <laughs> done that. I didn't see it. I didn't see it in there. What, what are you gonna do? Did it work? Yeah. Okay, you can see the bottom end of that mechanical seal in there, right? Let's see. Let's show you what what I did wrong here. If that housing was on there, that goes on here like so anyway that this is the, the top end of the mechanical seal then this washer was in there and <laughs> this snap ring goes goes in right there into that little groove and like there's another one in there and we're gonna do that right now okay different day kind of got sidetracked back to pulling out this snap ring from inside this it holds the uh, whole shaft in these suck Ugh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Just give me a pair of pliers. I got it. Snap ring myself in the face here if I'm not careful. Snap ring. Okay, now we need to take this over to the press and press this shaft out. Nice catch. All right, that comes right out. Quick thanks to Chris McDonald for letting us use his little shop press out here, uh, outside of the rain, over here at Bristol Paper, Bristol, <laughs> over here at Bristol Bay Propeller. Okay, now I'm gonna pull this oil seal out of here, and I'm just gonna use this steering shaft from a 273. Came right out. You could probably replace these pieces individually but I'm just, since I have that part of the kit, I'm just gonna replace everything all at once, just for ease. But, um, like, there's probably nothing wrong with this shaft, and this bearing feels fine. This one does feel a little stiff, but of course it was right here next to where the um, mechanical water seal was at. So, it's, that was leaking, so it's been impacted. But uh, I think it'd be pretty easy to take these off and get them matched up. Uh, through McMaster car or one of those, you know, maybe even Napa or something. Of course, it'll be harder to find this shaft But just pull this off this collar gets set in place with by a, um, a, a Snap ring that's right here Little snap ring right in there 
And then, of course, that mechanical seal goes right here and gets held in place by this snap ring, which we screwed up earlier, as you saw. So, but uh, just for ease, I'm, I'm just replacing this with one right from the factory. This one right here. Okay, here's that old uh, shaft and bearing. And you see that it's got this gasket loaded on there, and that's just the way it came apart. The new, the new shaft components, it doesn't come preloaded. But when I open up the bag for this, uh, this seal that goes in there, it's, it's loaded right there on a, a car, little cardboard insert. Boom, just like so. And then this, this water seal, this oil seal, whatever the hell it is, it's gotta get mounted in the housing. Okay, I got her in there with the press. Looks really good. Okay, oil seals in. Now it's time to put this shaft uh, with the bearings in. I'm gonna throw a little super lube on it, uh, so to appear casual. Okay, does it go in like this? No, it doesn't. It goes in like this. Where these bearings seat in here. There's some rust, and uh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna take care of that with a little bit of an emery cloth here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. New snap ring going on. I'm gonna do it uh, pliers this time because that last time that snap ring pliers suck. Ten. Ten. Okay. That one's in. Brand new snap ring in there. Okay, now we have the bottom end of that mechanical seal right there. You can see there's a chip in it, that, that shiny graphite. Gotta pull that out of there. Boom. That was easy. Got an easy button on that one. Time for that new mechanical seal. <clears throat> And even the dumb fisherman in me knows to not touch that with your greasy fingers. You got to put gloves on, or you'll burn that out. It'll scar it, and it'll leak, and you'll you'll be screwed. So that guy is going to go right in the hole there, and it should just go in pretty easily. So while I was fooling around with this thing, I, I got my got some grease on my gloves, and then I got some I saw some some prints on that. So I, you can see I, I I scrubbed it off with this. But there's still grease on there. So I'm gonna take some of this isopropyl alcohol on a Q-tip and I'm gonna clean this thing off. So there's no, no chance that there's any grease on it. Down in the hole it goes. I don't have the leverage I need to press that in there with my fingers. So I'm gonna cover a piece of metal with some paper and try that yeah that's pushing it right in the hole perfect man it sure looks like it's in there to me okay before we get too far with the top end of that mechanical seal i'm gonna have to put it back together here and of course the orientation matters right because it could go this way or this way or this way and on my boat it mounts facing aft with the outlet to the to the after cooler coming on top here so that's what we're going to stick with here Uzi 10 millimeter did i mention how much i love the guy they invented these ratcheting wrenches Dude deserves a Nobel Prize. There's probably a torque spec on that. I have no idea what it is. Okay. <clears throat> Two halves of the housings are back together. And we're going to put the other part of that mechanical seal back in the hole. This guy right here. I'm just using the heel of this little bar here to push down because this this washer here 
goes in next. The snap ring goes in place. There we go. Snapped right in. Next thing that we're putting in is the back plate. This is a new one here. And of course, you can see that this is beveled here where these mounting screws go in there and they'll be flush. So obviously, this is the top the top side if if you will and this was the back side. So, and this this is off this isn't dead center, so it can only go one way. It can't go this way, right? It can only go this way. Idiot proof. So, um, obviously this front plate goes on here, like so, da 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 da. So that's where that little O-ring goes, right there. And then we have two more O-rings. Where do they go? Well, they go right here, to the in, to the uh, inlet, and to oh, that that's the outlet. This is the outlet, and that's the inlet, right there. It's this big guy here left over, and uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, yep, right there. There it is right there just get a little pick which of course I don't have right now but this will be just fine pull that guy out this needs to be cleaned out of course lube it up this guy goes there and we have a rebuilt Sherwood 26k raw water pump all right, last thing is to put this gear back on. Remember, we took it off. This this uh, stamped lettering was up against the housing. And, and of course, this is tapered, so it's just going to go on. We're not going to get it on there that far by hand. I'm going to throw a little of this in there. Man, comes butt to nut right there. <clears throat> I don't know how tight that's supposed to go, but I'm a big old boy. Put a little of my back into her. And there we go. Okay, so that's my rebuild of the Sherwood raw water pump that's on my Cummins QSC 8.3 marine diesel engine. Hopefully you guys gained a little insight how to do it yourself. And again, we use the Cummins uh, rebuild kit, part number 4943180. And I will put that in the description below. All right, so I uh, hope to see you guys back in the water. Cheers.